So it started back in March 1998, where the Dorset Bat Group put up a few boxes in this reserve. And three months later, I think, they had a whole maternity colony of bat-sized bats. <laughs> the following year, the Vincent Wildlife Trust took on a, a ringing scheme. So they've been ringing the bats every year since then. So we worked out that actually about 95% of trust buildings have bat roosts. So we have a working assumption that on every built conservation project we do, it's going to involve bats. But she wasn't very impressed with it. So I came out with a first bat box three. And again, she said, well, it doesn't tell you what kind of bat it is. And I, I thought, well, that's a bit advanced. And it was just him in there, sat behind this massive leather top desk. And he said to me, oh, so you're Richard Crompton. And I thought, oh, what have I done? And he, he leant over and shook my hand and he said, I think you've made a very sensible decision. And the bats emerge from the gargoyle's mouths. And this roost does get over a thousand. And watching them coming out is just absolutely incredible. They see them interacting together and nursing their pups. It literally changes people up just there and then in that five minutes. When they leave, they're changed, their opinion is changed. And that's for me is the biggest buzz of all.